In this video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the EMF generated in armature windings. And earlier on, we, we knew that um, the field windings or the armature windings are, are, are in, classified into two. We have the, um, the lap wand, we have the lap wand and the wave wand, armature windings. And now going back to our question, the question says that an eight pole DC, ma DC machine armature has 1200 conductors and a flux per pole of 0 0.03 Webers. Determine the EMF generated when running at 500 revolutions per minute for A, a lap wand armature, and B, the armature is wave wand. So in this question, we'll ask you to calculate the EMF generated in a lap wand, in a lap wand armature winding and the armature in when the armature is wave wand. To start with, we calculate the, the lap wand armature, the EMF in the lap wand armature. And we know that the EMF generated, the EMF generated is equals to 2P phi NZ divided by C. And in this case, we have P. P is equals to the number of pairs. P is equals to the number of pairs of poles, the number of pairs of poles. And this one is the flux. Z, Z is the number of armature conductors. This is the number of armature conductors. And N, N is equals to the speed in revolutions per second. This and C, and C, C represents, C represents either a lap wand, a lap wand or a wave wand. So when you have a lap wand, so when you have a lap wand, lap wand, when you when it, when it's a lap wand armature, when it's a lap wand armature, C is equals to two. C is equal to two. Now going back to our question, we need to calculate the EMF generated, and in, and then from the formula, we we need to substitute the values we are given. We need to substitute the values we are given. So here we have poles. Poles eight is equals to the number of poles is equals to eight, but P represents the number of pairs. So here we have four pairs, four pairs. And then now we replace in our equation of the EMF. So C, C we said is equals to two P in a two P in a lap wand. So you have two P, you have two P. Then you have flux N Z C is equals to two P. Since the denominator and the new, the denominator and the numerator are equal in terms of a P, so this one and this one cancels. Where you remain with phi N Z, you remain with phi N Z, which will be equal to, which will be equal to phi is equals to zero point zero three. You multiply by the number, we multiply by the speed. The speed is 500 revolutions per minute, and we need to express the speed in revolutions per second. So 500 divided by 60 to change the revolutions per minute to revolutions per second. You multiply by the number of amateur conductors, which is 1200. When you calculate this from your calculator, it gives you 300 volts. Now, this is equals to the EMF generated, it's equal to EMF generated, it's equal to EMF generated, it's equal to EMF generated in the lap wound armature, in the lap wound armature, in the lap wound armature. So moving on to the next, moving on to the next question, moving on to the next question, it says that you calculate the EMF on the armature, to calculate the EMF generated in the amateur when it's wave wound, when it's wave wound. When it's wave wound, now when it's wave wound, we need to calculate the EMF. We need to calculate the EMF when it is wave wound, when it is wave wound. So when it is wave wound, when it's wave wound, when it is wave wound, we need to calculate when it's wave wound. When it's wave wound, 
the same formula applies where the EMF generated E is equals to 2P phi N or Z cos to over C, where C in this case is equals to 2 for our wave 1. Now substituting in our equation, let's say this is our equation 2. When you substitute the values we were given, you find the EMF generated is equals to 2. The number of pairs here, we have four pairs. Multiply by the flux which is equals to 0 0.3. Multiply by the speed, which is 500, divided by 60. Then you, you multiply by, by what? By the number of amateur conductors, which is 1,200. Then you divide it by 2. Yeah, you divide by 2. So here, you when you simplify here, 2 goes with 2. Now you remain with you remain with four, you remain with four, you remain with four, you remain with four, you want to by 0 0.03 by 500 over 60, by 500 over 60, you remain with four by 0 0.03. Multiply by 500 over 60 by 1200 by 1200. So when you simplify that, when you simplify that, it gives you 1200 volts. That is, when you simplify that, it gives you 1200 volts. That is the the EMF generated. That is the EMF generated. The EMF generated in when it's a wave wound when it is a wave wound